Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zemo the Dad in DPS and we're back again with another video. This is a Fallout 76 news video, so yeah, great. If you didn't know and you've been sitting under a rock, the Fallout Season 6 scoreboard has been announced and it is the Unstoppables versus the Diabolicals. Now if you're not familiar with the Unstoppables, where the hell have you been? Basically, it's a superhero team, it's a homage to the Justice League from DC Comics, and with that we're getting a lot of items themed around said team, including sidekicks outfits, posters, power armor paints, and on top of that, the villain of this scoreboard, the Samurai Power Armor, which is going to be Pretty awesome looking. I'm sure you've all seen it in all the data mines that have been popping up everywhere. Um, now, as well as that, we're getting a lot of new weapon skins, camp items. This includes the robot dog, again, that you've seen during the data mining. And this is going to be this season's Collectron. Now, we also have several allies, which are going to be able to be unlocked, which is Daphne, a small child who's apparently magic and Maul, the first ever super mutant ally to be on the board, um, both of which are going to add some new flavour to any camp. Overall, I'm quite excited about this season. It, in comparison to the last one, very blah, very grey, boring, and there's a lot of colour and cool items as well as interesting allies to meet. Although one thing I'd like to say is I do hope that these allies have quest lines very reminiscent of the ones from Wastelanders instead of the ones from previous scoreboards where you just plonk them down and that's it. Now, I think this has to be said, the team at Bethesda have done a blinder with the reveal trailer for the scoreboard. It's fantastically arranged and it fits the theme so well. So I definitely think that they should get some praise um, for that. Um, well done. And I'm really looking forward to unlocking the items. But the fact is, season five is still going. So you guys need to pull your finger out if you haven't completed it yet and grind those rad rumbles and complete those dailies and spam lunch boxes because you need to get it done as soon as possible. Possible. Now, it would be unwise of me not to mention the community calendar. Now, obviously, in the uh, September the 8th, we are getting our Fallout Worlds update as well as the Daily Ops expansion with this whole new scoreboard. So, that is going to be interesting to say the least. Um, how are you guys feeling for Fallout Worlds? At first, I was really excited, now less so, unfortunately. Um, if you could make an entire server of 30, it would be great, but you can. Uh, so yeah, not as exciting as I hoped. Then, we coming into October, we have Double Mutations, um, which is going to be interesting, to say the least, because there's going to be a lot of uh, horrible, horrible combinations that I do not look forward to seeing, but that is what it is. And the main thing I'm going to want to talk about here is the Spooky Scorch seasonal event. This is going to be the first time that we've had a Halloween event for the past while. Um, so it will be interesting to see what new items there is and if we can manage to get the old items. Then we've got Bombs Drop Day and I'll be honest, I completely forget what happened last year for that, but that will be happening as well. Um, I'm not mentioning the events that seem to pop up constantly because I'm sick of those um and then we've got obviously the fallout 76 for year anniversary which should be relatively interesting hopefully they're going to do something cool for it um and then into december we are going to have the usual holiday scorched event um so yeah we have an idea of events that are going to be happening honestly the only one that i'm excited about is the spooky seasonal scorched everything else i'm kind of not sure what's going to happen but we'll see what comes of it won't we so basically, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And I'll leave the reveal video for this season down in the description. Um, now let's thank our YouTube members and wrap up this video. Big thanks to Twice Speaks Buds, Goldie, Wyatt Blackburn, Waller is Me, Dealfin Gaming, Colin G, Garmit Knight, Oface, Brian RMC, Peggy McKnight, Metal Doom, Matasbo, Dragon God Slayer X, Devilman Games, Marcus Carrasco, and Scott S. Big thanks to all you guys. We can't do this without you, and I value your continued support. And that's pretty much it for today. It's a little short one. I didn't want to make it too long because there's really nothing to explain, and the video for the actual 
thing explains most of it anyway. Um, this was just to get my thoughts out there on it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.